Cue the music. Hey YouTubers, it's me, Gary, and Mark. let's look at some stuff, shall we? Holy crap, Deathstroke. Look at that, Deathstroke mask. You too can be a, a mask assassin. Just in time for Halloween. The only bad news is that you also get the Deathstroke comic <laughs> yeah. trade paperback. The second one, the second series, which yeah. was, yeah, that wouldn't. Uh, Batman Adventures, trade paperback, Bruce I, I Tim. I hear people Pauline. like that stuff. Yeah, the Green River Killer. Uh, we got some Doctor Who magazines. God, that guy looks rough. Holy crap. He does look like, like he'd party a lot. It's like Lou Reed as Doctor Who. Um, that was an Adventure Time Halloween special. Adventure Time hey, Halloween special. For once, I know what the empty spots are. How about that? All-Star Section 8. Amanda Connor cover. Angela, Queen of Hell. Yeah, see? Even in the Queen of Hell, she's, she's got a winning. Yep. Aquaman. Oh, poor Aquaman. He's always moody. Arcadia. I think that's the last issue of that. It's a good series. Deathstroke, still. Deathstroke. Uh, I think they're watering down the Deathstroke concept, to be honest with you. They really, really are. Exit Generation. It's a nice one from Comic Strad. Uh, the First Hero. Fight for Your Life. I don't know if that's the first hero. Uh, I wouldn't think. Fight Club 2. Ever always, heard of it? Always a good one. Fight Club. The Flash. With... That's what Zoom. Oh, Zoom. people probably heard of him. I don't know if anyone watched Flash this week. I Last know. five minutes of the episode, best ever. Excellent. The Dark Side War. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh oh, the medical droid. That's my shit right there. Uh, Kanan, the last Padawan. You gotta watch that medical droid. He pokes at you. He's real he, pokey. If you got something just kind of mm. hanging there. Yeah. Right. Uh, Lady Mechanica. Is last, it? It's the last issue. It seems like every issue is the same cover. Or is he it does the same. It's the same idea. Yeah. He does a like a bust one and then a f figure one. Bust. Manifest Destiny. Great book. You should have been on that a long time ago. Uh, Mercury Heat. There's heat in them Mercuries. She's standing like there's some Mercury Heat happening. Um, Secret Wars: Official Guide to the Mar Marvel Multiverse. With the homage to the Secret Wars cover. Empty spot. That is self-storage. Self-storage. It was actually, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Sesame Street, Another Sunny Day. Um, Shadow Tiger by Graham Nolan and Chuck Dixon. That's it. Classic superhero -y goodness. The Shrinking Man. I think that's the last issue of that. The Richard Matheson story. Richard Matheson. This is classic. Yeah. Um, Dennis is pick of the week. It was almost something else. But... Superman Injustice. Let's see if I can figure it out yeah. while we're going. Superman Injustice. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Get that. We got another empty space. That is They're Not Like Us, which, which is, is a great book. Which is true. Tomorrow's. There's that. But is that today? No. Today it's tomorrow. <laughs> Yesterday it was also tomorrow's. Uh, what about now? I don't know. Third base. <laughs> Woo! Um, another empty spot. That Come on, one, Nick. Do it. Tell me what That one's was. Transformers Redemption. Oh, son of a bitch. He knows all of them this week. Uh, we got so Look at it. There's Robin. Little Tim Drake. Standing like he's got a pee. The big empty spot here was a Mego Batcave. It's just it's going to Galardi Fest. Oh, sure, sure, sure. We got some pops here. Uh, Nightshade Sally and the Pumpkin King. Look at there's the Doctor Who, Lou Reed. Uh, Nick's pick of the week, Art Ops. All you got to know is Mike Allred. Mike Allred Art. Done. Done. Batgirl. Hey, that one has a transgender wedding in it. For all of you people that have never been to a transgender wedding. They're usually fun. Batman 66. The trans people know how to party. They do. They know how to cut loose. Uh, Batman and Robin Eternal. I've actually read that. I've, yeah. I've kept up on that one. It's not been bad. Not been horrible. Uh, the Black Hood is back uh, from the Dark Circle books. The uh, Archie, kind of grown-up Archie books. 
uh, Dwayne Swasinski and Howard Chaikin. Do you oh. think I don't like that? Yeah. It's Dwayne Swasinski and Howard Chaikin. Isn't that a gritty, double shot? Yeah, it's like a gritty, yeah, thing, thing. Uh, it's like a gritty, hard, hardcore crime kind of thing. The four points. It's a different kind of hard with, when it comes to Howard Chaikin. Ooh. <sighs> From Under Mountains. I don't know what's going on there, but it's vaguely obscene. <laughs> I don't know if we're catching the end of that move or the beginning. Grayson, uh, looks like Jubilee's kicking his butt. I'm not sure. That opening scene, the opening couple pages is for the ladies. Ooh. Well, well, let's our, take a look, shall we? Or the transgenders. Or for whoever. Oh, look. There we go, ladies. Just hanging all out there. Dick Grayson. Uh, Van, Helsing versus, Van Helsing versus Dracula. That's Van Helsing? Apparently, <laughs> it does not look like Van Helsing, my friend. I think that was in that, that was a different kind of yeah, movie. Yeah, Muir Wood, The Lost Abbey. Hey, Abbey. The new Avengers. Hey, look, everyone! At the end of Secret Wars, Ultimate Reed Richards must live because he's the villain in New Avengers. Wah, wah, Way to wah. ruin it. Spoiler. Odyssey. O Oniba. Oh, Neba. Oh, Neba. Oh, Neba. Over the garden wall. Nice all ages kind of thing. From nice Kaboom. little four-issue miniseries. Yes, yes. Uh, there's Sinestro. A little Sinestro action for all you fans of the high forehead. And if you're watching these videos, you are you're a fan of the high forehead. Um, or you endure it, at least, for a half hour every week. Sip Kids. Strangers in Paradise. That's uh, the last issue of that because oh. you people weren't ordering enough. Why weren't you buying it? I know. Spawn, and yet Spawn marches on. Spider-Man 2099. Oh, Spider-Man 2099. The Spire, which looks like that uh, Starve cover for some reason to me. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, it's the return of the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Let's see if she makes it more than six issues. Let's see if they let her. Yeah. Uh, Vertigo Quarterly, SFX. That one it got a nice uh, Ming Doyle one in there and Ooh. some nice stuff in there. Hooray for anthologies is what yeah. you're saying. Walt Disney Comics, Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. uh, Walt Disney Comics and stories, more Donald Duck. Just for sure. Four, three more dollars. Uh, we are Robin. See, my first exposure to the We Are Robin people was in Batman and Robin Eternal. I'm like, these people are stupid. <laughs> Nick hates everybody, even fictional people. Yeah. Look, there's a DC Comics bombshell Batwoman statue. It, it's a nice statue. Yeah. It's probably one of the nicer ones of. Uh... She's got big boobies. She is a bombshell. Yeah. Uh, Batman, Lee Bermejo, Batman Black and White statue. It's a, it's a second edition pressing on that one. I like Lee Bermejo, but I gotta be honest with you, I'm not really digging the uh, the driver's side airbags See, here. The his... thing I've always liked, I mean, this is how. It looked in Noel, but I've all, I like the fact that it's one of the few Batmans where you can actually like see part of his face sure. in his eye holes. And sure. it, I was like, ah, oh, it, it humanizes him yes. more. Yes. Uh, Nightwing, Batman Arkham Knight figure. Look at him, he's all pouty. He's pouty and unshaven. That's the title of Nick's autobiography, by the way. Joe's pick of the week, Black Magic Awakenings. That was really good. Okay. Book of Death, Nick likes Book of Death. That was good, and it gave you the setup for the Wrath of the Eternal Warrior. Uh, Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America. People are mad about Sam Wilson, Captain America. I don't know why. Yeah, because people take things to GD seriously. You know, how you, you know how you show your disdain for something like that? Don't buy it. There you go. Don't buy it and don't give it any attention by arguing about it online so much that people go, I wonder what they're arguing about. I yeah. better go buy a copy. Yeah. Chew. Bless me. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> Bless me twice. That what do you got? The allergies? <clears throat> he Man, the Eternity War. Is that He Man? I don't know. No, I think it's Man at Arms. I was gonna say because He Man looks like he just got out of the barber's chair. They cut it too. You know, sometimes they cut it too short. <laughs> he looks Are like he the star of Flesh Gordon. <laughs> yeah, right. Hellboy and the Cosmic Cheerleaders. <laughs> Flesh Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we reference Flesh Gordon and the Cosmic Cheerleaders here. House of M. And it won't be the last time. I can tell no. you that. My pick of the week, Howling Commanders of S.H.I.E.L.D., number one. I'm so excited about this. It was good stuff. How do you go wrong? It was good stuff. And it's Frank Barbieri writing it. Yeah. So, five ghosts, anybody? 
Uh, Iron Man. Got that. Iron you know, I just realized when, when you make the little faces about stuff and I make them with you, I'm like, no one can see No one can see that. you making that face back. But I still got to make it. Yeah, yeah right, right. It's, it's a part of human contact. Yep. Uh, empty space. It, it, sh it proves to me that you're not a psychopath. No. That you do have empathy with other human beings. Uh, slightly. <laughs> Plants and zombies. Well, with me anyway. Maybe no. not other human beings, but... What? Power up? I don't know what's going on there. No Is this clue. another transgender wedding? I don't know. Told you, those people know how to party, they man. They do. Everybody gets mad at the trans people. I mean, I don't trans know why. People, trans people can... They're at least happy with themselves. They can throw it down. Yeah. Prez? I think that's why everyone gets mad at them, because... <laughs> They're just like, I don't give a shit. I'm doing it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Puppet Master? Hey, everybody. Halloween? Puppet Master? El Rey? Puppet Master Marathon. 24 hours of Puppet Master. You need to take your El Rey network and shove it. You don't like that, do you? No. The other day? Yeah, mass and cable. Robert Rodriguez's Mexico Trilogy. Last weekend, Bruce Lee. All day, marathon. Uh, spread. You yeah. heard what I said. You can spread it. <laughs> Chakra the Invincible. Chakra. Uh, the Stringers. Oh. He's hurt. Poor Glenn. Um, Stump Town. I love this book. Stump Town. I get excited when a new issue is Stump That's Town. That's two, uh, two this week for Greg Rucka. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Yeah, because he did that Black Magic. Yes. Yep. Oh, let's see here. Uh-oh. Web Witch in a bag, ladies and gentlemen. It's another attempt of Boundless bringing back one of their old titles. And, yeah. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> If that's your thing. You know? Coming of Rage, Wes Craven and Steve Niles. I read it. It was okay. Uh, what If, Infinity, Dark Rain, Green I didn't Goblin. Re Infinity. I didn't read that because I didn't care. Yeah. Where Monsters Dwell. Mm. I know where my, I like my <laughs> monsters dwell. I know where there's a monster <laughs> dwelling now. <laughs> He's in the creature stirs. <laughs> Wild End, we are just awful. Just the worst. Awful, awful people. Awful human beings. Uh, look at this. We've got this sweet, sweet, uh, what's her name? Michonne figure, yeah. statue kind of thing. Uh, we were just discussing before we started the video. Even though it looks cool to wear a vest in the zombie apocalypse, I would probably wear something that covered my arms. And he's right, I would also cut my hair. I mean, yeah, it's got to be tough to cut your hair in the zombie apocalypse, but... You should cut a sword. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Or just put it up or something. Why would you? And actually, because she's got dreads, they're even easier to. It's, yeah, that's just, you, you gotta just is, gotta. Yeah, you just gotta saw it off. But I, I think when she first appeared, she might have been wearing a poncho, which is as as everyone knows, is zombie proof. Well, it is. Yeah, uh, Harvey Bullock, Gotham, um, James Gordon, Gotham, Selena Kyle, Gotham, Crimson Peak, the Mother Ghost. I love how the there's pop. That's the first time pops for a movie came out like the same week as the movie. How about that? Uh, look, there's this penguin that was 18 months late. Yeah. Another Crimson Peak pop. Uh, Edith Cushing. Her name's Cushing. I get it because Peter it? Cushing is. Yeah. Uh, there's Dick Dastardly. Yeah, I've been called that. Uh, you've been called that in reverse order. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Nikki Bella, who, whoever that is. Yeah, I don't. For those of you who, who follow the Total Divas. The Rasslin. The Rasslin. For those of you that follow the Rasslin. Colder, Toss the Bones. That's always a good series. Uh, <laughs> if it's colder, you can't toss yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Conan the Avenger. It's on the final arc, or coming to the uh, coming to the final arc, I guess, for Conan the Avenger. Um, Cyborg. Written by David Walker, who does Shaft, and who does who's going to be doing the Power Man and Iron Fist, and the Nighthawk book that's coming out from Marvel. Oh, that's right. The guy's, the guy's everywhere all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he's doing every book ever. Get on the train. David Walker. Uh, Cyrus Perkins. Um, Deadpool versus Thanos. When will you people stop falling not, for this Not stuff? next week, because next what? week's the new issue of Deadpool. Why, why don't you stop falling for the the just the baseless cash grab? Island? That's thick, man. It's got some Brandon Graham's awesomeness in it. Uh, the Ninth Generation. Looks like a Queen album cover. Jinrai? Jinri? Jin... Journey. Journey! Holy shit. I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. I figured it out. Yeah. Probably the last issue. John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Basically, that's a book about people fighting in their underwear. 
fighting monsters in their underwear. It's basically what you Everyone think. always has issues with the way that Dejah Thoris is portrayed. I don't. In the comics, she's portrayed actually with more clothes than than Burroughs did in the book. Weren't they all naked on Mars? Maybe, yeah. But and let me also take this opportunity oh. to say John Carter was an excellent movie. Yes, and it was. It, it did not deserve the failure that it was. No, it did not. And uh, what's his name? Taylor Kitsch did not deserve to become box office poison. No. I like him. He's an all right guy. I mean, he's not the greatest actor in the world, but if you watch Savages, I think he did a good job as Gambit, even though the movie yeah. was not great. And John Carter was great. I'm just saying. Justice League 3001. Uh, more Puppet Master. Hey, did I tell you that on Halloween, there's going to be a Puppet Master marathon uh, on the El Rey Network, which you don't get at uh, your house, but I do, because I get El Rey. Uh-huh. I ride with El Rey, by the way. Just Good so for you. you. Good yeah. for you. Nick hates that I, he doesn't have El Rey. Revival? Yeah. Well, you know how to get me back. Just say, hey, look at this picture of me and Peter Weller. <laughs> Rick and Morty. I mean, even though I have a, a picture of me with Peter Weller, I don't like it that you also have one. Oh. I like you, but I don't like... I don't I'm like not the, Peter Weller worthy. I don't know. You are not Peter worthy. <laughs> Robin, son of Batman. We have just lost... It's just, we've lost control of this. Yeah. Uh, Rumble. Uh, this is the beginning, I think, of a new story arc. No, new story arc. Look at this. That's all the books, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. As if you couldn't tell. Look at this gigantic Hulk. I don't know what's going on here. It's but... a hot toy. It's the Deluxe Hulk hot toy. Ooh, it's, wait. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean. I can imagine. It is pretty sweet in there. That seems like a, a very Antonio Lechuga item. I'm just saying. We also got this Jumbo Secret Wars Hobgoblin. I always like the Hobgoblin better than the Green Goblin. I just looks too. wise, looks wise, I think. But whatever. Okay, let's go over here because we've got this fantastic Edgar Rice Burroughs uh, Tarzan, the Sunday Comics Hal Foster edition. Nice. Hal Foster, amazing, did Prince Valiant, Tarzan, nice. everybody you like. Let's see what else we got over here. I think that's it. Oh no, we just got, this little. We got these little. Look at these little packs. Micro comics, Star Wars micro comics. I'm disappointed in. I, it's the price of a comic. Okay. You get a mini comic, a card, a 3D poster, and 3D glasses. Sweet. I mean, That's a good stocking stuffer, kids. Yeah. It's a good stocking stuffer because Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. So, uh, I guess that's it. I think that's everything we have. This weekend, come see Bill at Goulardi Fest mm-hmm. in Cleveland, in Parma, actually. Parma. Um, it's going to be awesome if you like uh, the old style monster movie hosts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then obviously, and then coming up in a couple weeks, one week, <laughs> one week, next yes. weekend, Akron Comic Con, third third year or fourth year, fourth year, fourth year. It's the second year at two days. Yeah, right. Okay, so you should check this out. This is a great convention for comic book fans, and I don't know whether you know it or not. On Sunday at this convention, which is the eighth, I think the eighth. Of November, I am going to be moderating a panel about Master of Kung Fu. About Master of Kung Fu with Mike Zek and Paul Galassi, the two superstar artists that pretty much made Shang Chi, Master of Kung Fu, the greatest comic book character of all time. I'm going to be talking to him about Master of Kung Fu. Are you going to be in costume? Uh, I might wear my Master of Kung Fu T-shirt. That's about as costumey as I get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, basically my everyday costume is a, I'm a middle-aged man who's desperately trying to distract you from the fact that I'm a complete failure in life. I think so that's all we we yeah. all try to accomplish. Okay, so uh, until next time, next week we've got the, I mean we got the previews this week. Next week we're gonna go through it, show you all the cool stuff to buy, and there's some cool stuff. I just leafed through it before we started the video. It's gonna be cool stuff. Get on it. All right. Till next time, my friends. Happy Halloween and stay nerdy. I gotta pick my nose. He was picking his nose. Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>